Greetings scholars, if you're looking for a Dungeonology gameplay video, you are in the right class. This is Dungeonology 201. Uh, but if you're still kind of new and don't know the rules, you're going to want to check out Dungeonology 101. Uh, I'll just put some links in the, the description below here and uh, you'll find some uh, good videos that kind of cover the basics here. Uh, throughout the video, it's it's kind of abridged. You know, I'll, I'll kind of zip through some, some downtime areas, uh, but I will do my best to kind of point out little uh, tips in... Um, details uh, as it goes along so that you kind of uh, help you track and follow uh, what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm your host, Ken Suwaga, and I'm going to bring four of my friends along here and, and they'll play and I'll just kind of uh, help them out and, and go through the game. Uh, so it is a full four-player game. Uh, just keep in mind though, uh, the rules are not final and a lot of the components will probably change uh, as the game is still in development. Uh, but either way, it is still fun. So uh, not to waste any of your time, uh, let's go ahead and get to the table. Hi there, my name is Ben. I'll be playing under the moniker of Completely Random tonight. Uh, I am a freelance game designer and all-round dog's body for several different companies, currently working for Grimlord Games, Smunchy Games, and Red Gym Publications. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here. Wow, you work for a lot of people. <laughs> I really do. It is an increasing number as well. So if you're interested, hit me up. <laughs> All right, and next? I'm uh, Colin Spamberger. I'm a miniature and board game enthusiast. I also work as a communications uh, help and manager with different board games. I've also helped Ludus Magnus Studios with a couple of games. And I'm good friends with Ken. Yes, yes we are. Ben is too, but he doesn't want to claim it. <laughs> I mean, are any of us good friends with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the next? Uh, my name is Thunderbeard, but you can call me Ryan. Uh, I am a board game enthusiast. Uh, I work with Ken, actually, at the church. And, uh, yeah, I, I love board games. Yes, you do. Okay, and the next? All right. My name is uh, Brian, undergoing the name of Trollbait. Um, I am a tabletop game enthusiast. I used to work in the industry for Weird Miniatures, but uh, have uh, not been working in the industry for a while. However, I still maintain a passion and love for the games and the game communities. And uh, I've been plugged in with uh, Ken for a while due to multiple different Kickstarters and things. And I'm excited to be here and playing this game. It's a pretty fun, pretty cool theme. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Yeah, I love this too, that you guys are all my friends and I get to just host and watch you guys fight each other uh, to see who's <laughs> going to be the next professor. And I guess you can fight for the title of who's my favorite friend. Ooh, sticks Who are high. Who fit now? Yeah. All right, so let's get started here and let's draw the first randomizer card to see who gets to go first. Oh, where did you put it? There we go. Yellow, and that will be troll bait. Oh yeah! So go ahead and and draw your trick cards according to the setup. I'll draw one card since I am first player, and then completely you'll draw two. Mm -hmm. Colin three, Thunderbeard you get four. Yes, I forgot to add. I'm super competitive, so I'll make it. I'll make it. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> Yeah, the first time I played this, the guy wasn't so competitive. But after playing with you guys last night, uh, it was a lot different game. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Butthead. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do a study action here. Uh, trying to take two cubes. So I have a starting difficulty of three uh, for the stealth check and an additional plus one for the additional cube, so a total of four. Um, and the, Not kind of risky there on your first term. Oh, there you go. That's I why. have a five, so it's much easier for me to do that. Um, and, it'll automatically and because fire. these guys are in the encampment, they can't do anything against you. Correct. Much as I would love to. And it's automatically <laughs> divines as well, so I'll just add the card in just because it'll move off the deck. Oh, look at that. Uh, Three. So you got a total of eight. So there's nothing that can oppose me, so I get both. 
cubes. You are uh, off to a good start. And there we go. And now that I have, well, that's blue, sorry, not a purple. I'll go there. Um, and that ends my action there. So let me put these back over here for a discard pile. Um, and I have nothing for the end of my turn. Uh, so that since that was my action, I will just draw up to my max hand size and I will pass the turn over to completely random. So I'm going to go straight up. Uh, there we go. I'll move on to it. So the stack is here, so I need to immediately draw a two. Okay, so we also have the uh, the Bard Gathering, which because it requires a matching location, it must go there. So we have a staircase going to it. And now that you got your new room out and the stairs down, we activate yep. the boss. So yep. here we go. Thankfully, he's a little drunk, so he's going to stagger around. Uh, so if you look <laughs> at the card here, it says that the first thing is sighting. So if he's not on the board yet, this is the when you get the boss symbol is... Mm -hmm. Uh, a sighting. So he's going to appear in the zone uh, where the boss was activated. Heep. And since he says enter your zone, or uh, it says here it activates an encounter. So we draw from the randomizer deck. All right. So he drew a treasure. If we go over here and we look, it says the scholar drops an information cube in his possession. <laughs> 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 well, you don't have any. Protected. And now you can stay here, or you can carry on to another room. Yeah, I would very much like to move out of there. Very much. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, gather two cubes, which means I'm going to increase... The oh, yeah, so you'll need to do another time. stairs before you do that. Uh, so oh, you can... I will have to do another stairs one time. So yeah. I need to pick a... I, Level three well, you can go to level one, or you can go to a level three. It's up to you. I'll be bold. What's be the bold. worst that can possibly happen? Well, the boss is already out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there we go. There's the level three. Ooh, hidden cultivations. Yes. Hmm. Very interesting. That's a pretty tile. It is, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Right. I'm not going to move any further, however. So I'm going to try and study for two to collect two of the greens. Um, I'm going to play uh, just one trick card to do this, and I'm also then going to try and divine to get some intervention. So uh, the two I'm playing... So that should be on camera. Uh, then I have divine intervention of two. So I draw two trick cards. And then I'm going to take the three because I only get to get one of these cards. So that will give me a five. Thank you. Which is the amount I require to take two. Unless uh, someone's messing with me. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So because I'm the only other person out of there, I'm the only person who can actually interact with you during this because everyone else is in the center. Correct. Yep. So I, I was I'm... specifically leaving it blank to see whether or not you were going to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so currently you are sitting at a total of five, which is exactly what you need. Yes, yep. So I actually will play a card. Um, I'm going to play... Uh, dark ways. Um, part of the requirements for me to do so is I have to pull a uh, student out of the bag, which is a okay. student, which so it goes to the camp. Um, but then it adds plus two to your um, uh, to your challenge difficulty. So that's the only card I'm going to play. So now you have the opportunity to play a card from your hand to try and increase that if you can. Yes. Um... So, I, I'm going to kill one of my students 
to draw two cards in the desperate attempt to try and get enough for this. Got to hope that this this very long convoluted uh, <laughs> way of getting this. So let's and. There we go. So I've drawn Expert Survivalist, which is plus two, which I believe is exactly the amount I needed. You are absolutely correct, sir. Good job. Oh. <laughs> that was that was that was that was a lot of work to get two green. <laughs> Remind me to uh, to hurt you later. Okay, then. So uh, you're up next. I am going to, I guess, go east. Dancing Blades Arena. Something's going to die. Uh -huh. Is that so a you've student? been ambushed? Yep. One of my students dies. Yep. I will uh, travel again. So there's a stair. Yep, go ahead and draw a level two then. So do I travel that way? Yes, right? If you want to. OK. And uh, what happens with the boss now? Did we activate that first? It goes in order. Uh, basically, you put in their stairs down, and then you will activate the boss. Yeah. So I will go with a uh, level three. He uh, moves three zones towards the randomizer. Randomized scholar. Yeah, he's a little drunk right now, so he stumbles around. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he likes yeah. Alright, so this guy is gonna do an encounter against me then. Red. Militia. All right. Which is, I discard a random trick card. Oh, gosh, dang it. All right, now you get an action. Okay, and I'm actually going to stay in this mo uh, militia camp and, uh, so is it study? Yes. All right. Yeah, and this room, too, is, is dangerous if you fail, because you'll have to draw three students, which could be potentially bad. But it is a lucky room, so you will get an extra card. I'm just going to gather one cube. Okay, so then you'll need to play a trick card. I play this one. Okay, so you have one. Are you going to play any more than that? Because this is the only time you can get that bonus value from oh, the yeah. top left. So you can play as many as you want. And I need five. Yep. Okay, I'll have to use actually all mine. And what was the next step after that? That's a uh, draw the. Yep, so now you can get your deviation. Yeah. I'm... Put it along with your, the rest of your cards so I can keep it on yeah. the camera there. Sorry. All right. So you have a stealth value of eight, and you need to beat five. Uh, you need to put your cube back. You haven't got it yet there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so eager. Since Thunderbeard is still in the encampment, he can't interact. I'm the first opportunity, and I will pass. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why I'm are you being nice? nice? I have two cards left. <laughs> <laughs> so what truly awful things if I uh, if I interfere with him in this room? Three draw. Yeah. 
he's gonna have to draw three and mm. if any of those is a red one he will um, uh, get a jinx card and yeah very well then <laughs> oh man oh you're gonna play against them okay we'll put it up here i am so i need to draw from the bag which uh it's eight on eight just take one from here hey. and then place it here. Perfect. So, well, that's not enough to beat him. It doesn't thwart him at all. No, it's not. But with the second one, it is. It was like it was comedically timed. Yes, it was. All right. You, okay. You, it's your turn, Collins. You have. No cards to play. Yeah. I don't think there's anything you can do. Nope. Oh. So I'm going to draw three tokens? Or three, three of the guys? Yeah. yeah. So okay. first thing you'll do is draw three from the bag. Oh, jeez. You just gain an exhaustion token. All right. Let's do this. Rocket Thunderbeard. Uh, I'm gonna go right here. And I will kill one of my students. Because he's not worth it. And I'm gonna loot two from this, so that'll be a total of three. How would you feel being that student being told you're not worth it? <laughs> you're not gonna feel anything because he's dead. So Fair my point. ability is Magic Prodigy. So any Magic cards, that value counts for double. So I have four to the required three. I'm also going to play that. So I've got six. Total of six. OK. Yep. Okay, uh, troll bait. That's your chance to thwart him. I will thwart you by doing nothing. I pass. <laughs> he really wants those cards. Completely random. It's to you. I pass. I have done all my uh, canary for this round. <laughs> I just want to point out that I didn't do anything against you, Collins, on that last one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll let him. I'm going to hold off right now. Thank you, gents. All right. So All right, Trolley, what you going to do? Well, right off the bat, I'm going to play this, killing off a student. Because they couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and I'm going to be moving during my move. It's going to be bomb, bomb. And I'm actually going to drop it here. Um, then we'll trigger the boss. Um, let's see here. What is he going to do? He's going to move towards uh, blue, which actually will cause him to stop where I am. Because I'm the first one he encounters. And then for the um, um, actual encounter, he will do a green. So I'll gain an exhaustion token. And then I'll continue on in my movement to here. Um, and then I'm going to take another exhaustion token to do my ability um, to headbutt you. Uh, making you discard <laughs> a random trick card, and I will get that random trick card. Here he goes. Just headbutting people for no reason. No, I want more and cards. And I have no way of stopping this, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn wimpy scholars. Then I'll gain that one. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> For my actual action, I'm going to play this. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, and I have to draw three. Oh, geez. They're none of those were the, uh, the thing. Oh, that's a good card. Yep. So I'm just going to gain the two that are in the zone here automatically. Oops. Which will pick that up by one. And this one here will. Take that up by one. That makes me really, really angry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you with your two to your bonus stealth checks. I'm going to go ahead and do another risky thing. She'll be this to kill off a student, draw a student from the bag. I will take uh, the deputy in turn. So allows me to gain more students. And I'll end my turn drawing four. I am going to sit in the corner and grumble. <laughs> I believe there's a card called Whiner. Is that just... <laughs> you are correct, sir. There is. <laughs> I'm not going to move back through your traps. So instead, I am going to move here. This is a level three, isn't it? So I'm going to move again to this space here, drawing a level three. You you have literally, by taking that single card, you've colossally scuppered my entire entire <laughs> plan for this turn. I'm sorry. Go for the whole hidden cultivations. Look, there's a bunch of pretty roses. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. With with one card in my hand and and with you guys all now on hands and having this giant <laughs> red target on my back, I'm totally going to do that. But never mind. Um so yeah, I'm just going to end my turn to draw some cards into my hand. So I'm going to play move a scholar or boss by 2. So I gotta sacrifice my uh, little dude here, right? <gasps> Murder! <laughs> and <laughs> just when he thought he's gonna start drinking his uh, whiskey pretty soon. That's it. I'm opening the cider. <laughs> hey, at least this doesn't trigger an encounter. Though it is going to be my personal mission now to make sure that Trollbait has a very bad time. <laughs> that is understandable. All right, Collins, you going to do anything else? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I will. Uh, I'm going to go south. If I can. I don't think I can, can I? No, so you'll take that and then uh, go ahead and bring that back up here. Uh, and you have to put it on the bottom. Okay, draw a new one. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's just a blank space. Yeah, if you place that there, then we'll need some walls. I'm going to study here, and I will play uh, that one. Yeah, go ahead. Try and study. <laughs> <laughs> Take that risk. I assure you, nothing bad is going to happen. Okay, and you're going how many cubes? Just one? Yeah, just the one. Okay, so you have a stealth of three and a alert of three. All right, Thunderbeard. Oh, there he goes. I'll add one. Nothing too cheeky. I will pass on an opportunity to thwart you. I will pass. Save everything for Trollbait. <laughs> Make it okay, I didn't get it. My apologies. No, no, you're you're okay. <laughs> just, I'm just, uh, I'm waiting for someone to rest so that uh, I can get close to him. <laughs> so I'm gonna move down here. Actually, yeah. So I'm gonna go for both of these. So five. And I'm going to play So you're at six. So I'm at six. I will pass my opportunity to stop him. I will pass my opportunity to stop him. 
I will not. <laughs> oh, he's got three. So that puts it at eight. Correct, yeah. And so before we, we continue there, he needs to draw a student. And it's not red. Yep. All right. Um, so I can play this bottom effect to kill a follower and draw two cards. <laughs> Grasping at straws here. I'll go for that. So I get one divination. Yeah, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and there's eight. So I passed it, so I'm going to get my treasure. That was a rough one. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was grasping at straws. And don't forget that now you have the um, trigger for a bonus. So your bonus goes up. I'm still not quite oh, forgiven no. you. You know that draw bait. Like, I know like, it. Jim, oh, I know. Still it. quite angry. So I'm gonna go. Stop following me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really want to do something, but I can't because it's gonna. Where's the cease and desist? <laughs> um. So. Okay, so I'm going to lose a dude. I do have a pink, so I can go in there. I'm going to lose a Scholar. Pew. Um, and then I'll trigger the boss. I just drew a blue. Um, so I'm assuming... And he's blue. So does that just mean he sits there? Correct. Yes. <laughs> can All right. and can now, I catch a break, please? The thing is, since he started in the same space as him, he does not encounter him. Correct? That's correct. Okay. Okay. That's, There's that's a break. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't screw you over there. I'm going to uh, attempt to do the challenge, um, and I'm going to try and take two cubes. So starting at five, it challenges up to seven. I do have a bonus of plus two from my uh, uh, stuff. So to start You're it taking off, two cubes would only make the alert value six. Oh, correction. Sorry. So I have uh, current starting two up to six. Um, and I will see if I want to do that one or that one. I'm going to play this one in addition. Um, so I'll have a total of seven there. Um, I will uh, go ahead and use this at, for the auxiliary effect to kill a student to draw two cards. You're at a total of nine now for um, stealth? Uh, four, Is he? seven, eight, yeah. nine, yes. Two. You only needed six? Yes. He really wants that gold. <laughs> um, and then I will uh, pass it on to my opponents to try and stop me. So I'm currently sitting at a total of nine. I will definitely be messing with him. <laughs> there you On go. gray. Do gray. All right. And then I draw three cards. And pick one. Ooh. Have the three. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's definitely have the three. You know, ironically, because it's the bold move, the one that you stole from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um and then back you... to haunt you. Flip, damn you. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so uh draw one guy out of the bag. So that's a total value of eleven. Mm -hmm. So I need it minimum. Two. Okay, that's a gray one. Yep, Placing so... it in the reserve. Is that going to be all you're going to do? I believe that's all I can <laughs> do for now without, without doing things that I'm not quite fond of. 
Okay, so... In fact, no, you know what? No. <laughs> Let's, I'm also going to take a point of exhaustion to, uh, to divine two cards. <laughs> he really wants this to Jeez. fail. Let it's anyone really know who messes with me, I believe in escalation. <laughs> so two. Yeah. Yeah. Add two to it. The alert value goes up to 12? Uh, 13. 13. 13. <sighs> uh-huh. yep. Wow. Colin, do you want to do anything? <laughs> Stop asking him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a student. Yeah, but you won't affect the threat value in any way. Okay. Uh, All right, no Thunderbeard. Point. All right. Um, I'm going to pass. Oh, come on. Come on, actually, people. Actually, 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 actually. No, hold on. I want to play one. I was say, he's, he's, about to get, he's about to get some yellows there. Yeah, you conned me into it, so plus one. <laughs> So it's currently up to 14, 14 so I need five more um, to be able to increase this and succeed. Can um, you do it? Possibly. Um, so I'm going to first play this card for the divination. Red. Yay! <laughs> so. Um, so I'm going to divine. Uh, I'm going to divine two. So one and Come two. Come on, low numbers. And <laughs> I will take the two to increase by two. And then I will play this to increase by three and succeed. Oh. Nice. We got it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. I put in all this effort and you couldn't add in a measly other plus two. Which oh, I, that's all I had. That's all I had. Hey, I had to increase by five. That's a lot. Um, and this does allow me to look at the face down thing yep. due to my fancy scar. So Which I is exactly why I was trying to stop it. <laughs> I will draw up to four, and then we will resolve the red dude. So this will go here. Um, okay. Um, and then I will get a Jinx. Um, as long as you have this card, you cannot make use of the auxiliary effects of trick cards. Oh, who? Two points at the end of the game, too. That stinks. So much for you being a butthead. <laughs> this makes me a little bit happier. Yeah, I, I, I think I need to rest. Because that exhaustion is starting to get a little bit scary. So I'm going to rest. I will uh, lose all exhaustion. You uh, getting back your students? Uh, well, yeah, but yeah. There's none there to gain. <laughs> I say but there's none there to gain, which is why I was trying to gain one last turn, but then I didn't have the right card for it. So uh, yeah, there's there's not much else I can do because of that. So I will just draw two more cards, and that'll be my turn. I'm going to rest. Now, Thank Colin, you. I want you to stay very far away from me. I've already got <laughs> one more enemy, and I don't need another. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go for three cubes. So that's going to be six. So I'm going to play... These are doubled because of my ability. So I have eight. And you need to beat... What's your alert value? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, with everything added up, I'm at a nine. And the I need to beat a six. Okay, you're grabbing all three. Since these two guys... Are in the camp. They can't play against me. I will not play anything against you. You are having free reign here. Which that actually makes you go up to a star, causing the rest of us to flip our cards. I'm going to discard this one, and then I'll drop to five. 
Um, I am actually going to, um, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. That's pretty dangerous. Um, although I have plus three, it's not likely a six. So this covers that, that covers that. So I'm going to actually move to where the boss is. Um, then I'm actually going to attempt to do a uh, challenge, even with the boss there. Um, and I'm going to try and take two cubes. Um, so that's going to make it eight already for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some big cards, I'm guessing. Um, I have six, eight base plus the three here, nine, ten, eleven. Um, and do I want to do anything else? I could do that. Just curious, how do you have three here? Um, so right now I've got a plus from here, a plus from here, and a plus from over here. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Three above the challenge right now, then. All right. Um, and I will go ahead and I will pass it on to, for people to try and stop me. I am in the camp, so I can't. Yeah. It's only uh, Thunderbeard that can do anything. Thunderbeard, would you like to do something? Uh, how many do you have? Um, I currently have three, six, nine, ten, eleven to a challenge of eight. No. I don't really have anything. All right. So I will succeed, and I will take uh, two tokens, which will actually cause me to flip back over since I will be tied for the stars. And from there, I guess I will just end my turn. So I'll draw three cards. I'm going to keep the card in hand. So I'm going to draw this bottom card as I head straight down, which I can't do. So in the situation where I can't put it down because it has no adjoining thing, how do I then respond? Uh, you won't be able to place it, uh, so you'll have to move somewhere else. And this one goes back. So I can do to there and then onto it from there. I believe it's got a connecting to the bottom that I can put it on here. Yeah. Right, so draw and then, yeah, there we go. That works perfectly. So uh, I need to immediately draw some staircases. Uh, so I don't instantly build to it. Also, just a note, since those two tiles have a B, you can travel between those two places. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, I have a way out. I'm <laughs> I'm in here. Um, the boss activates. So it's one of these. And please, for once, don't be blue. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, so he's coming after you. He's going to use, no, he'll use the, uh, the tunnel, the secret passage, to get over to you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, Ben, you're never going to want to play this game again with these guys. I, no, you've already got the correct thing there. You didn't need the conditional modifiers of these guys. <laughs> right, so... Right. He encounters you, so draw an encounter card. I don't want to draw an encounter card. <laughs> so you get to pick where is he going to take a cube from. Uh, from the green down here, please. I'm going to step in. I know that I'm losing a student for this, but they are expendable minions, so just, just <laughs> die. And then I am going to attempt to get... Oh, how much is that adding on? Do I'm going to go for three cubes. Because I am literally... Like, in the bottom of this game right now. So that brings it up to 7 for your alert value. I'd like to stop Trollbait playing any cards by drawing two. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't 
play them anyway. <laughs> mm, there we go. Okay. Safe. I am going to... One... Two... Three... So you need seven? Yes. I'm currently on eight, and I'm going to take a point of exhaustion to do divine intervention as well. Nice. Well, I'm going to take the two, because it's higher than the one. So you get a ten. Ten, and you only need seven? Correct. All right. Um, so, which of you gits is going to mess with me first? <laughs> well, we skip Colin. He's in the encampment. So, it is on to Thunderbeard. Um, and Trollbait can't play on me. Correct. Let's see. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're the only person I haven't messed with. Um... I I don't really have anything. I'll pass. Yay! I'll I'll give you some grace. And I have to pass, so. Oh damn. <laughs> Thank you. So I gain plus one to myself. I do get another plus one from my actual own ability. Back in the game. Nowhere near winning, but back in the game. And I end my turn. My turn. I'm going to move here. And does the boss activate? Yes. Yep. And reveal is red. No. About time. <laughs> not that it's going for you, uh, Thunderbeard, more that it's not going for me. Yeah, I know. I know. He can't reach him, though. Is he moved to here? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to. Actually, he triggered my trap in the last room. Oh, you have to. Drop a drop cube a in the last room. Um, I have to, oh, after what? Drop a cube in the last room. I don't know, which one? Uh, your choice. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to move here and I have to stop. <laughs> and now you can get your cube back. Actually, I am going to espionage. It says adjacent to as well, correct? That is correct. <laughs> so, it's almost it's almost as if almost winning the game puts a target on your bike. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I am going to. Ooh. So five. <laughs> He's got to beat six. And also my deviation. Yep. Yep, divination one. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, I actually can't use the auxiliary effects on any of my cards, so I actually have no defense against this. Ooh, that's a bummer. So, um, Pollen, you're going to be stealing him forever, right? I'm stealing from whoever's ahead of me. And so. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so I gain this. Yes, you do. And you also get your stealth check bonus. Oh, cool. And let's see. Do I want to steal from him? Actually, I think I'm going to. What is it? I'm going to go for the uh, cube study and uh, Underbeard. Yeah, I'm passing. I'm passing as well. I will pass messing with him. All right, so he gets his cube. Discard. 
this and draw five. Thunderbeard. All right. I'm going to move. And I'm going to activate the boss. It's going to go to purple or pink. That's me. First time. And you'll need to draw to for an effect. Blue rose. So you can either take a green from here or a blue from here. Take the blue one. Definitely take the blue one. The blue one, yeah. I'll take the blue one. All right, and then I'm going to continue my movement. Thank you. I'm going to go down here. So I need to activate a tile. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. A lot of stuff in here. Pack leader meeting. All right. So that's the negative divination and the boss activation, correct? Yes. Deadly. All right. And I'm going to get two tokens from this room. So I need six. There's eight. And that's eight. I'll do nine. And you have a total of ten. Yep, so ten, and I need six. I will decline. I will also decline. I'm, I'm going to decline right now. Oh, he levels up again. All right. So I can still use the main effects of my cards, I just can't use the auxiliaries. <laughs> so, I'm going to do something fun here. I'm going to play Boom, Shadow. Play it before moving, I have to reveal three dudes. Doom, Doom, Doom. So, I'm, I'm triggering this, so I'm going to go here, taking one cube. Then I will go back. Oh, right, 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 right. So that flip there. Randomize, draw, flip. Uh, it is blue. So this guy, he said he has to go through the shortest path possible, which is um, through the secret tunnel, um, which is here. So he will go here, over to here. And since I am here, he will stop and encounter me. So I will gain a third exhaustion. So no matter what, I will be um, resting this next turn because um, I have no way to negate that. Yeah. Um, and then I will go through here, taking that yellow, which will oops, bump this back up. Oops. Um, and then I will go here. And the way it reads... Uh, I can take uh, one randomly from the person there. So the person there is uh, Colin, correct? Uh, yeah. So blue, blue, red, or pink. So I will draw cards out here until I get one of those. Well, it's blue, so I take your blue. And then Ooh. I immediately go to the uh, end phase. I'll go ahead and end my turn. Yes, end your turn. Yep, so I will sacrifice this singular student rather than drawing one out of the bag, which I can then use to generate three students. See? They're like rabbits. <laughs> so yeah, I will step into that room then, activate the boss. Come on. There we go. And flip. I feel like there's a lot of blues in that deck. I'm I'm beginning to feel like there's more blues than any other color. 
<laughs> so he does nothing. Um, and then I go to here. Uh, I will step here and I am going to use <laughs> an action. <laughs> He's going to steal your stuff. I am! <laughs> Love potion. Love potion! Give me your things! So, they're persistent on targeting me when, honestly, look at you. No, well, he's a ta uh, targeting every scholar in the zone, so... Yeah. Yeah. He went to where all the people are at. I get one cue from every zone, and I would get cues from the zone if I had any, but it doesn't. So, um... Colin, I need a cue from you. So we Is give him one. Yeah, you, you choose. choose. Yeah. If you want to be kind, Colin, I'll happily take the purple. <laughs> oh, could you have thrown that any more contemptuously? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will gain another point. Um, so that's my action using that ability. I have slain one of my students, so that's then gone. Um, I don't believe there's anything else I can particularly do, is there? Can't move. Um, I will use my uh, inspirational sermon to gain one more student by discarding the magic card. There we go, and I believe that will end my turn. Okay, I'm going to move here. Activate the boss. Oh dear. Please not blue. Technically, if he flips either you or me. Purple. purple. So that was me, actually. And the quickest route is both ways. So could I actually choose which way it goes? Yes. Yeah. So you can actually still have it hit both of us. So I'm actually going to have it hit both of you. Nice. I love how you can strategically use the boss to your advantage if you know what to do. Uh, troll. I cannot take any more exhaustion. Okay. And here you go. Uh, this was for random. This is for me. Yeah. Ooh, bummer. <clears throat> oh, God, they're all important. <laughs> there you go. So I'm actually going to do my action phase. I'm going to uh, steal from a troll. What are you going to steal? Blue. Don't let him max out those blues. <laughs> Why is everyone picking on me now? I have to rest. Because you're all like, really going to win. win. And we can't get to uh, Thunderbeard so, easily <laughs> to mess with him. <laughs> so you're just going to let Thunderbeard win then? <laughs> no, you've been, no. You've been headbutting everybody. I have not. Yeah. I haven't been able to. <laughs> and, and also, I'm, I, I'm messing with you because you made a mortal nemesis. And I told you this. I think so, we're overreacting a little bit. I am at four right now, and then I also do a, a deviation. He removed my ability to check on the clan card on turn two. All right, <laughs> I hold that as a grudge. Three. So I've got uh, seven. Seven. Nice. Unfortunately, I still can't play auxiliaries, so. <laughs> That's <laughs> I will take uh, this. Yeah. Just keep picking his pocket. Who, who's the thief? Who's the thief? Okay, you're the thief. Okay, coming for you. <laughs> we can no, no, not next turn, anyways. Oh. To be fair, though, we uh, do actually have to. Call, we have to be more worried about Rebecca at the moment. Pretty sure that next turn he's going to activate Endgame. I can't really get to him. He's a little. No, no. I'm just saying we might want to hold on to our cards to mess with him. 
And you get one more action, Colin? Yes. I am going to actually steal from Troll again. <laughs> yes, oh, that's no. gonna be... He's an easy target. He can't do anything. <laughs> Okay, what color are you going to steal? Uh, yellow. So you got four, you so you five. need something else. And I also get my uh, heal. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I can't oh, stop yeah. it, so I mean, you're just taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Gangs of hardened grannies are <laughs> attacking the nation's youths. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Yeah. So then I will go to Discord base. Discord one. <laughs> Jeez. Everyone picks on me. So I'm going to explore. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that's got uh, so you need to draw another. Now, do I have to go in there? If you're exploring, explore, yeah. yes. Okay. So here I am. I'm going to kill, kill a student. <laughs> Let's throw him off the table. And uh, I got to draw something else. Put it like that. Holy moly, there's a lot of blues in there. That is lovely. <laughs> hmm. And I need to... Now, did you activate the boss? Yeah, that's what I need to do right now. So we're going yellow. I'm already there. Okay. So, so we all safe. Happens. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. And I guess I'll try and loot one. Well, I can't do anything personally. Oh, I'll 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 be doing something. Two, four, six, seven. I have nine. Oh yes, because of your uh, your own benefit one. Cool little magic thing, yeah. Yeah. So I'm at a nine. It's a three. Okay. Right. Uh, well, I'll be trying to block him because otherwise he will be uh, getting dangerously close to starting the end game on a number of tokens. So that's. I'm going to raise it by one for that one. I will take a point of exhaustion to divine. Due to the smaller effect of this, when you play the one auxiliary effect, I'll play the main effect of this. I'm not stopped from playing main effects. I'll have to reveal three dudes, but it will cancel that uh, the card for the auxiliary effect you're using it for. Is it an instant card? Uh, it's a reaction. Uh, who are you talking to? You. Mate. I'm canceling your plus one. <laughs> okay. Have at it. <laughs> at least it wasn't a plus three. Yeah, you can have the plus three from the first aid. And then I'm going to do... Um, I'll activate the friendly debt card here. I'm putting it next to the first aid so it remains within that. I will have to kill a student, and I get to uh, draw. Draw. And draw. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, I've done everything I can do. So okay. you plus three to how? What's the total right now? Uh, uh, six, six at the moment, I believe. How many cubes have you taken? Just one. So it's a total He's six. He's just taking the one. Yeah, total six. And so what's he at? What are you? Nine. Is that so, nine? Yep. So if you add four, it'll be broken. Okay. And then he will have 
Right. What's the the bad luck do? He's gonna draw a hey. divination to count against him. Oh. When does he do that? Uh, right away. So it needs to actually happen. Oh, oh. no! So Ooh. it is currently not. Shucks. <clears throat> And there's also that plus three that I've played on him. Yes, that's the only reason why it's actually being stopped. Oh, I'm actually going to put this down this I know. <laughs> Nice. Shucks. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm going to fail it. Did you draw the student from the bag for that? Oh, thank goodness. And then I draw one because I failed? Yeah, you draw one because you failed. Um, I'm just gonna pl uh, play an ability to draw a student instantly because I don't like how many reds are now in there and how many students are out. Um, I have to rest, uh, which will remove me of this. Thank goodness. <laughs> no more jinx for you. No, it's stupid. Dang. Um, I will replenish. Um, all my exhaustion goes away. Going to just end my turn, draw up to my full, and be done. So I'm going to play the secret passage card. The secret passage card will allow me to perform moving, place down two secret passages between two zones that I'm moving. In. So I'm moving from Bard's Gathering to the Worship Hall as part of an instantaneous action. Um, I've now ended up inside the worship hall, so I get rid of a student, goodbye student. Um, and then I've also activated the boss. Please, for the love of all things holy, do not draw blue. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. Yay! Uh, he hits on me. I, I feel that's sort of justified for the, uh, the chanting. Or was it not you chanting? Was it thunder? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not actually a bad one. Yeah, so one from there. I'll take two cubes then. Goodbye, students. Hello, purple and uh, yellow. I can now finally look at the Freaking thing. And you're not exalted. I am not exalted anymore, yes. Uh, my stealth goes up by one. Uh, so I will uh, I'll end my turn and I'll draw two cards. I'm going to actually use this for my phase. Teleport. And I'm going to kill this guy for the cost. I'm going to teleport. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and so it begins. Welcome. And then I am going to... So I can't move now at all. So now it's just my action phase, which I am going to... Uh, I guess I could do an action, couldn't I? Pick up some treasure. I'll split the bounty with you. I'm actually just going to steal from you. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go for the... Oh, no, no, purple one. Yeah. Oh, no, this one. Whichever Blue. color this. Okay. Uh, I play... Three, and then a deviation. Three divination. So that's four total then? Yeah. Alright. Okay. So I have to rebuttal that. If you can. Okay, so you'll need to draw to raise the alert value up to two. And I will actually play a reaction on that. Ooh. 
Objection! Oh, snap. Ooh! Oh, a double whammy! No. Canceling your cancel. So it's still in effect. <laughs> so I will do this one. So kill this guy. You should have played that one first. <laughs> He's up on me by two. Ooh. Ooh. So now you're up by one? I believe so. Uh, I'm not going to play anything else. You can have it. Yay. So your stealth goes up by one? And I will steal a green from him. And one. I got three. I'll let him have it. <laughs> Yay. All right, my turn. I want to play this. Each scholar in the same or connected zone reveals a trick card from the deck. If it's a social, like notoriety, or lucky, you will give me one cube. Draw it out. Who is this affecting? Uh, the dirty Just bandit. Colin. Just Colin, yeah. So you got to draw one off the deck here. Okay. I'm guessing it's public, yeah? Yeah, it's an exploration. I don't think it applies to exploration. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> well, bummer. Almost got one back. <laughs> and then I'm going to play a bold move. and I'll just take two cubes from here. Nice. So draw the three for bold move. There it is. There's a red one. Oh. Do they go? Where do they go at? Uh, back in there. Yeah. Okay. And then this one goes here. Goes to your board. At the end of your turn, then it will go up there. So I'm I'm playing the one that I just put down, a friendly debt. Uh, I draw a student from the bag. So you need to give me one of the ones just got placed on your how? Oh. Uh, it's it's specifically that it's been placed on the notebook this turn, so it has to be one of the blues. Ooh, he could, get two. He could end, which makes me go to glory as well. Exalted. Same. Uh, did you give me the uh, the blue? You did, didn't you? Yep. Sweet. You got two stars now. Uh huh. All right. And I'm... Okay, now what do I do? The Omega student. Now everybody's uh, stealth bonus goes down one. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, because Everyone. of the... Uh, up here, the alert card. Yeah. And then we draw three for every, and then, okay, the new university bag is ready. And did you get a Jinx card? Yeah, I did. It's a doozy. All right. Time to go have some fun. Damn it. Moving there, <laughs> which will trigger the boss. Come on, not me. Red. Um... Who red is over there? 
<laughs> Once right. more, I appear. Why are there two of you? All right, so let's start with um, uh, Sophia. Let's Sophia draw a card. Okay. Ooh. Random trick card. Rebecca, you need to draw one from the randomizer deck as well. All right. Red as well. The scholar discards a random card. So I'm going to, first of all, um, I'm going to use this to sacrifice a student. Then you also have to draw one because it's both. Uh, yeah, I take it's the deacon. Bad. Yeah, I, ha I have to draw one as well. So one deacon, deacon. Okay. Yeah. Um, deacon, 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 deacon. There you are. So now my blues are protected. Thank goodness. Because people keep taking them. <laughs> then I am going to sacrifice uh, two more. And uh, I will... First, I, I have to, I guess, do the stealth test. I'm taking two cubes, and I'm using this to automatically pass it. Nice. So there's. No so why don't you take three? Um, because I can't. Oh, you're limited, out. aren't you? I am limited. You're limited. I am unable to take Ooh, three. He's got full blues. Yeesh. Full blues that you've got a be lot sold. of points. Then I am also going to use this, um, for the auxiliary. So I'll take one exhaustion. Uh, and I'm going to headbutt the spot the thief because the thief is annoying. <laughs> um, so I'm going to draw a card from here. Um, and so do you have a red? You do not. I redraw that. Yellow. Yellow. Uh, and then I will throw these away. Then I will end my turn drawing two. So I believe that I have sufficient to write my thesis. So I'm going to break down real quick what Completely Random is doing. Uh, he's going to kind of keep it to himself because in a game you may never know there may be some players who haven't yet seen the clan card and he also wants to keep his final value to himself uh, and making other people work for it if they really want to know what he has. So he's going to take a look at the clan card here and let me show you that now. Uh, and so in order for him to successfully submit his thesis, he has to get over 25 points. Uh, and this, the, the points on his board are going to be modified now by uh, these values here. So every green cube, he's going to get a plus one for those information cubes. On the yellow ones, though, the, their value goes down uh, negative two. So, uh, and if he is successful in submitting a thesis, he will be getting uh, 10 bonus points uh, for his final score at the end of the game when we compare scores uh, with all the players. And the second player will get seven points and then so on and so forth. So let's switch over to his hand real quick and uh, walk through how that's going to get calculated. So for these two cubes here, he's going to get uh, two points, one for each cube. So he's starting out at four uh, plus the bonus points. So that stack there is worth uh, six points. This stack here on the blue, so he's got 12 points right now, uh, but he's going to get three for each cube. So that's 15. Uh, these ones, the value is going to drop down uh, two per cube. So that's going to be nine and then he gets uh, six for that. So he's definitely over 25. He's got enough, so he's successful in that. He is able to uh, submit his thesis. And once he submits his thesis, that's going to start the end game process, and it's called uh, the maximum alert phase. So let's go over that real quick uh, before we go back to the game. So in the maximum alert phase, uh, the, the rules change up a little bit. So it's no longer possible to take any rest actions, regardless of trick cards or, or whatever. Uh, it's just not possible anymore. It's also not possible to place any new zones or information cubes. Uh, and they also s uh, skip uh, the submit thesis at the beginning of their turn. So at this point, the only way for the, uh, the player who hasn't submitted a thesis is to end their turn on the uh, starting tile. And then they automatically, at the end of their turn, submit their thesis. And now there are some new conditions, too, as well, that uh, w immediately in the game, uh, if there are no more students left in the bag, and this can play out different ways depending on how the panic card is, is set up. Uh, also, if there are no more information cubes in any zone, 
uh, the game will immediately end. And also, once everyone has you know submitted their thesis or if there's no more players left, uh, the game immediately ends, and then you move to the uh, the, the final tally phase. Uh, so that's where it is, and uh, we're going to get back to the game. And so uh, this will go away, uh, and then we'll flip this over, and uh, Ben's going to kind of walk through this process here uh, of how we set up the uh, the panic card. So we discard the boss card. Each player at the beginning of his or her turn, those who have already finished their game included, moves the boss model two zones heading to the nearest room that contains information cubes, Remove all cubes from the rooms visited or passed through by the boss. When the boss model passes through or stops in a, a zone that contains scholars, each of them must randomize to lose an information cube. Okay, so then it's going to start with Colin, right? So Colin, is so, you get to... Yep. Move the, uh, the boss. Um, I'm actually going to play this, uh, the blackmail. Um, kind of student in the process. Um, so you can't take a rest. You can no longer rest in uh, at the end game. Yep. So give me two. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> poor Colin. Give him. The, uh... Give Don't give him the. Don't give him those ones. Worth more. He has to give me two, so he either gives me the green and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... So, 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 don't give a blue. Give the give the purple because it's worth. Actually, less he to can't you. give me a blue. I can't have blue. Yeah, you're full. So, so he has to give me the green and the purple. Yeah. Oh, oh, the thief was thieved. The thief was thieved. <laughs> That's why Sophie is the scum. <laughs> so. Did you say I moved the boss? Two zones heading towards the nearest room that contains information cubes. So it takes all the cubes out of this one? So, yep, they all go bye-bye. And then it goes to this one, right? Yep, all cubes go bye-bye. He's going to ruin everybody's chances. Dude, that stinks. Okay, so now it's... Now, my actions now... You want yeah, to get out move. there so they don't move it I'm, back towards you. I'm going to go ahead. I'm <laughs> going to play this real quick. Just take a, take a dude. Okay, so I'm going to actually play. Going to steal from a troll bait. You can try. What are you stealing? Uh, I know I can't take them. Correct. Just go for the green. Okay, which is all only a value of three, so it's target number three. Um, so what are you doing for your value? So you're doing a three straight up. Three, and then also you get a free divination. All right, yep. Divine it, buddy. One, four. Um, I am. Not going to. I was gonna say you can't have many cards left. I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> I have two cards. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you. So you can take one of the greens. All right. Which is... And then I'm actually gonna steal from you again for another green. Green. Okay. So the value still starts at two. So you are at five. Five. <laughs> not stopping that one. Um, you know what? I am going to try and stop you. This may work depends on what your last two cards are, but hey. Um, I'm going to divine three. So flip. 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 <laughs> oh! Oh, no. Wow. So you will succeed. So Yay. you'll get another green one. So, uh, yeah, here's your second green. I want to play this so that I get two little followers. There you go. So I'll take Ooh. those two. I'm going to move. Okay. Oh, do I move the boss at the start of my turn? Yes. Okay, and he has to go eat some... He has to move towards the cube. closest ones with cubes, so you can move him here or here, really. 
So and then all of these disappear. Just throw them off the table. And then he moves one more space. Oh, they came back. Oh, I move him one more? Yeah, he moves two, technically. Yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Drunken boss! Drunken boss! So he's going to move back down here. Oh, wait, so no. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to move. I need to get rid of a follower. The one you just came. Go bye-bye. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to continue moving. Yep. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to play help. So I'm going to kill, kill my dude. Yep, so reveal a top card. Ooh, two. come so on. Take a two. Two. So, so we get two treasure. Yep, so take the red and the blue. That's your action, right? Yep. So at the beginning of mine, this guy will move towards the closest one with cubes, which is here. So these two will disappear. And by passing through there, um, the zones in that must randomize yeah. and lose an information cube as well. Yep. So he's He's got to randomize and thundered. Yeah, you need to uh, you need to randomize and lose a cube. So just. Draw a card out of here, and whatever the color is, you discard it. Yay. Uh, Green, so remove a cone. Uh, that's not a big deal. So he goes there. Um, it's not, but it means that on your next turn, unless you move, you and Colin are both going to lose things. I'm going to play this, um, allowing me to move boom, boom. Uh, and then I'll take my actual movement to go one, two, three, four, which I'll submit my thesis at the end of my turn. Whoo! <laughs> Getting seven points. You'll need to. Did you have a student to kill, though? Um, sure. I do. Boom. Okay. There's a cube here. Yeah, we're going to Collins. Colin, you'll lose a cube. Poor yeah. Guy. Three. Well, you'll have to stop here. Oh, was there? A, okay, I didn't see the thing. thing. He was yeah, hidden behind the boss. This guy's gonna move two toward a thing. Then I'll move, and that's my turn. Uh, well, the closest space is gonna be. Okay, he's got to go all the way around. All right, Ben, that's you. Yep. So he will destroy all these ones, and then all. The I would guess this this would be the closest since it's only one movement to get there. But then he's going to take another move back. I'm going to use this. So so one for me. Yep. So it's random. So just randomize it. A blue. But I also need to draw uh, a guy from the bag. Oh, don't get the red guy now. <laughs> okay, well then I will steal. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cut the recording here. And what happens next is a pretty long, epic battle between uh, Collins and Thunderbearded. And by the time we got to the end of it, we realized that Thunderbearded had a uh, Jinx card that prevented him from raising the alert value anyways to protect himself. So it was pretty much an automatic win for Collins. Uh, and then just one turn after this, uh, Laetus, the boss, uh, collects the last cubes uh, on the board and pretty much ends the game immediately. And Thunderbearded and Collins never made it back to the uh, the encampment to submit their thesis. So uh, shame on them. They have been demoted to uh, janitors, uh, no longer scholars. So they must work hard again to get back to that state. Uh, and now I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, we had lots of fun playing it. This is going to be a great game uh, to sit with your friends around the table. Definitely create some long-lasting memories. Uh, I just want to thank LMS2 for letting us take the opportunity to, to make this video. Uh, we've had lots of fun playing this game. Uh, and so for no further ado, I will now leave you guys with the final score. Yeah, Trollbait, so 
you did a count there and what's your your final uh, points there my final total is 55 points okay that's gonna be hard to beat and what did you end up with uh, completely random it was 46 so our next professor will be probate thank you well, <laughs> good job the butthead it will be in charge of the, the campus now great Imagine that a student comes in. I have a complaint, but no complaints. <laughs>